today on Fun Size Adventures, we're gonna take some mundane everyday chore like processing firewood and turn it into something fun like this. Hey everybody, welcome back to Fun Size Adventures. I'm Jeff Smith, and this is our family vlog that's all about getting outdoors and active throughout the year as a family. And today we're doing something a little bit different. One of the ways we heat our house is with firewood, and we've been trying to cut down all our firewood here on our land. And this time of year is always the perfect time to cut it down. And I today I cut down a bunch of big long trees that are fairly straight, not too big around, and I thought it'd be a fun idea to try to build something out of them. Normally I just stack them here in the woods until spring and then I move them into our woodshed and cut them up more. But this time I thought it'd be fun to try to get some rope and build something. So let's see what we can do. All right, so my plan is we've got three really long ones, they're about 18 feet long, that I'm gonna try to tie together in a tripod. And then I have several shorter ones that we're gonna kind of do as like cross braces between the legs. And we're either going to turn it into a, some sort of climber or possibly put a tarp over it and turn it into a fort. So I've got these three laid down with two going that way, one going this way, overlapping a little bit. It's been a long time since I was in the Boy Scouts, but I'm going to try to remember how you tie a tripod here. Now I believe you start with what's called a, a clove hitch, I think, if I remember correctly. It's a knot that kind of looks like an X. And then you got three and we got them sticking out. I'm kind of splitting the difference between the overlap here. Now, if I remember correctly, then you you got to loop around the branches here. Try not to tie up this grass in there. You just want it, you don't want it all the way tightened together, but you want it a little bit loose. And then I believe we go around three times. Funny story, I actually was, as a teenager, I was in two different Boy Scout troops and quit both of them. <laughs> It just wasn't and... for me. I, as much as I like the outdoors and I'm um, going on hikes and that kind of stuff, it was more just a lot of, that was the very, that was the minimum of what they did. Most of the time it was the stuff that I just wasn't super into. All right, so we've got around three times. Hey, do you know once we built, it was a, in a backyard and this rope, or I think it was a rope and this balance beam you need to go across. And that was cool. But now you gotta loop it in between and then back up through here. And we can get it. All right. And then again, we do this three times as well. If there's anybody out there that didn't quit Boy Scouts, you can tell me if I'm doing it wrong. All right, now we're going to loop around. We're gonna go to the this other crack here and loop around three times. But now we basically want to end this with another clove hitch. Hopefully that's the right name of the knot. Like, whoop. It would have been like 25 years ago that I learned the names of these knots, so I might not have them right. Let's see if I can get on it. Oh, don't stand oh. on it. I'm gonna lift it. Oh, nice person. Yeah, this might be heavier than I thought. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. This is heavy. I have one idea that might work here. I think I might have made it too big. <laughs> Got it up this far. I think I'm gonna have to try to shimmy each leg in individually now. We're getting there, guys. For a little while, I didn't think we were gonna get this vertical. And when I was measuring 18 feet on the ground, it didn't seem so big. <laughs> but now it seems huge. Yeah, this just seems like a death trap. <laughs> How about rather than climbing, let's go get the tarp and see if we can at least make it into like a hut like we were talking about. So our tarp is also dwarfed in comparison to this giant teepee. So I think there's no other way around it than to cut these legs down and try to make something a little bit smaller. Because not only is this too big to really do anything with, but it's also probably too dangerous. So we're gonna make it a little bit smaller 
be back in a minute. Okay, so after trimming that down by like four or five feet, looks a lot less like something that's gonna put us in the hospital. We've gone back to the original climber idea because that puts it in the range where the sticks we have to be like the rungs. Are you okay? Yeah. We're gonna end up in the hospital no matter what, I think. All right, guys, we've exhausted our rope and our logs, and it wasn't easy, but I think we've got it. Here I am up on the top. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I think it's coffee time. Time to head in and get some coffee. Warm up. It's cold out here. But hey, we accomplished our goal. It was touch and go. It didn't seem like we were going to be able to do it. But this will be a fun climber for the kids on the warmer days through the winter. And then in the spring, untie it, chop it up, throw it in the wood stove next winter. So dual purpose. They say burning with wood warms you twice. Once when you cut it and once when you burn it. But this way it'll warm you three times. When you cut it, when you burn it, and when you climb on it. Yeah, I hope you had a fun time going on this little backyard adventure with us, building something cool. But if you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Join us on all our future adventures. And until then, go out and have a fun-sized adventure of your own.